Hi viewers, let us master the technique to, be, to find out the direct and indirect object. A noun can act as a direct as well as indirect object in a sentence. When does the question of direct and indirect object arise in a sentence? When one or more nouns or one or more pronouns follow the verb means there comes the direct and indirect object in a sentence. Okay, I mean let let me in I mean illustrate you with an example. Kala told Bala a story yesterday. Here you see that told is the verb. Next to the verb there comes Bala and a story. Two nouns consecutively ka. If two nouns consecutively or two pronouns consecutively come after your verb means there comes the question of direct and indirect object. Okay? Then now, how will you find out the direct and indirect object in a sentence? You please number the nouns as one and two. Okay? Then afterwards, come on, we shall go for the system of finding out the direct and indirect object. Find out the finite verb in the given sentence. Then among the question words, whom, which, what, find out the suitable question word. Here comes the suitability. The suitability should be made with the word that comes up. I mean, under number two after the verb. Under number two after the verb. So the suitability should be made with the word that comes. The noun that comes under number two after the verb. Okay. Then, using the question word and the verb, frame a question. The answer to the question is direct. Likewise, how will you find out the indirect object in that sentence? Find out the finite verb in the given sentence. Among the question words, to whom, to which, to what. To whom, to which, to what. Find out the suitable question word. Here comes the suitability. The suitability should be made with the word that comes under number one after the verb. Okay. The suitability should be made with the word that comes under number one after the verb. Using the question word and the verb, frame a question. The answer to the question is indirect object. This is the way that you should find out the direct object and indirect object in a sentence. Okay? Come on. Let us find out the direct and indirect object here in this sentence itself. Come on. Find out the finite verb in the given sentence that is told. Okay? Among the question words, whom, which, what, Find out the suitable question word. The suitability should be made with the word that comes under number two after the verb. That is story. So, now we are going to find out. We are going to frame the question. What did Kala tell Bala yesterday? The answer is, Bala told a story, a story, okay, a story it is the direct object. Likewise, we are going to find out the indirect object also. Find out the finite verb that is told and then among the question words, to whom, to which, to what, find out the suitable question word. The suitability should be made with the word that comes under number one after the verb. So that is Bala. So you will be for that you have to find out the question word as to whom did ba Kala tell a story yesterday. Yesterday. Kala told Bala a story. So Bala is the indirect object. So this is the direct object. 
and this one is the indirect object. This is the way that you should find out the direct and indirect object in a sentence. Story and Bala are nouns. So a noun can come as a direct object as well as an indirect object. 